Hey guys, this is Coding with EJ in your PJs. Welcome back to another Unity RPG tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to help you with the player animation and so our player will face our enemy on either side of the enemy. So first, as you can see, what I did in the animations folder is I added a player folder and dragged all our player animations and our animator in there. So I'll do that. Now we're going to make a folder in here for our battle animations and we'll call it player battle. Let's go to scripts and I also did something in here. I made a new folder called enemy and dragged all our enemy scripts in there. Follow player X, follow player and trigger battle since those are attached to the enemy. And just to make things easier, let's add a new folder and we'll call it enemy battle. And we'll drag follow player X in here since that since only that script is attached to this enemy in the battle scene. I made a few changes to our script and I'll show you what that is. First of all using these lines I made a shortcut for animator and sprite render to anim and render so you need to type those down and then here I got our component so whenever I, I use render or anim it'll get it from the component connected to our player. I also added a public transform called enemy. We're going to attach our enemy to that in the unity editor so we can get our enemies transformed. I added something inside the fixed update. This is for our animation. And as you can see, we added bools here, but we haven't created them yet. So we are going to create those soon. If input get axis raw horizontal is larger than zero. If we're moving left, then move X will be set to true. If we're moving right, then move X will be set to true. And then if we're doing anything else, so basically if we're not moving, then it'll be set to idle. And then in our update function, I added this. So our player will flip if it's on the left side or the right side of the enemy. So right now it's on the left side of the enemy, so it'll face the enemy. So when I jump on the right side of him, he'll flip, so he's always facing the enemy. Type this down. Once you got that written down, now we're going to create some animations. Okay, so let's go into our player battle folder, and this is where our animations are gonna be. So let's select our player, Select animation and we're going to create a new animation called player idle battle. And good, it's in our player battle folder, that's where we want it. And now real quick, let's rename this animator player battle so I don't get it confused with the animator in our game scene, not the battle scene. And inside player idle battle, we are going to drag a sprite in there. Just one sprite since the pl our player will be idle. So we'll drag Hero Zero into here, and that's all for that one. Simple. Now let's create a new clip, and we'll call it Player. Oops, Player Move Battle. And this will be our move animation. So we'll drag Hero One, Zero. I mean Zero, One, and Two in there. Drag them all in. Change this to six, so the animation isn't super fast. Now let's test it out. So he jumps over, boom, and his animation, his walking animation isn't working. So let's see what the problem is. Yes, I totally forgot. We got to uh, add bulls in our animator. Whoops. So select our player. Now we're going to make a transition from any state to player idle battle. Then we're going to make another transition from any state to player move battle. So our transition from any state to player idle battle, let's add a bool. First we gotta create bools. So let's add a bool, we'll call it move X. Then we'll make another one, call it idle. Okay, so here we're gonna do we're gonna set move X to true. And inside our settings, make sure fixed duration is checked and can transition to self is not checked. So now that we got that done, let's go to player move battle. Whoops, change, change this to idle, my bad. Now we're gonna add a bool here. And let's make sure it's move X since it's a transition to player move battle. Set, make sure it's set to true and uncheck can transition to itself. Now, let's go to our player, let's apply, apply all these changes. One more thing I forgot to add, guys, is we're going to change the animation speed to zero. Let's test it out. Boom. 
As you can see, he flips when we're on the other side of the enemy, and he also moves when you hold down right or left arrow, and then when you let go, he stops. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this Unity RPG tutorial. This is coding with EJ in your PJs. In the next tutorial, I'll make it so the enemy will flip once we're on the other side, so we'll always, the enemy and the player will always be facing each other. And I might even start on where the enemy can start attacking you, and maybe at a health system. But that's for next time, guys. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe, comment if you need any help. I'll do the best I can. Like this video for more videos, and I'll see you next time. Happy coding!